What's up, YouTube? This is Luis Joel, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing smoked reverse seared ribeye steaks. And we're also making a fresh chimichurri salsa to go along with that smoky, rich flavor of the ribeye steaks. And as always, these recipes are easy to make, so let's get into it. We're gonna start with four USDA prime cut ribeye steaks that I got from Costco. These ribeyes are about a pound each. I'm gonna start by dry brining these steaks overnight. Dry brining is a method a lot of people use to season their steaks. Basically, you apply a generous coat of salt to each steak and then leaving them to sit in the fridge uncovered overnight. What you get is a much better seasoned steak and the surface dries out a little so you get a better crust when you go to sear them later. As you can see, because we left them uncovered overnight, they look a lot darker red. We're gonna go ahead and prepare a rub mix. Now remember, since we already used salt earlier, we don't need to use salt now. I'm just gonna get a nice little shaker bottle. I'm doing coarse ground black pepper, some granulated garlic, some onion powder, some dried oregano, and some dried parsley. And just gonna go ahead and shake that up. And that's how you want it to look. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply that evenly to each steak. Don't forget to get the sides. Today we're gonna be using the SNS travel kettle and we're gonna be using the slow and sear attachment to reverse sear these steaks. Just gonna fill up the basket with some charcoal. And I'm gonna light that charcoal up with my flame torch. If you guys are interested in getting yourself a seal pro, I'll leave a link in the description below as to where you can get one. Now I'm gonna just fill up the other half with some unlit charcoal, and I'm gonna put the grates back on, and I'm gonna go ahead and let that preheat. I'm gonna open up all the vents so this thing can come up to temperature. I'll give it about 10 to 15 minutes, and this thing is gonna get really hot. Now that the grill's gotten nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add my wood chunks, and today we're using apple wood. Now that we got some smoke going, we're gonna go ahead and add the ribeye steaks. And again, we're gonna be doing a reverse sear on these. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a water pan to help regulate some of the temperature. I'm going for a medium rare, so to not overcook the steaks, I'm gonna use this Thermo Pro wire thermometer. I'm gonna choose the thickest steak and I'm gonna stick the probe right into the middle portion of the steak. I'm gonna let these steaks rock out for about 30 minutes at a temperature of 225 to 250 degrees. And I'm gonna pull them off once they hit an internal temperature of 110 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna crack the vents on the bottom just so I can get that proper cooking temperature. Once the steaks hit 110, I'm gonna pull them out and get them ready to sear. While the steaks are smoking up, we're gonna go ahead and prepare that chimichurri sauce. For this, I'm only gonna be using half an onion and go ahead and remove the skin off of it. About three cloves of garlic three dried chilies, some fresh oregano, not that dried stuff. I'm gonna grab like three sprigs of it, half of a lime, and I'm just gonna squeeze it to get the most juice out of it. About a handful of parsley, and I'm just gonna remove the stems. And now you wanna just finely mince down everything. If you want your chimichurri to be a little more chunky, you don't have to finely mince it down as much as I do. And if you want it to be more of a paste, you could also use a food processor, but I like it to be a little chunky, almost like a salsa. So again, you just want to mince down all the ingredients and just add it into a bowl. It doesn't have to be perfect or homogenous. Great thing about chimichurris is you could customize it however you want. You could add whatever veggies you want. If you want it more spicy, you could add more chilies. If you want it more vinegary, you could add more vinegar. You can make it to however you like your taste. At this point, I only add about two tablespoons of olive oil, but I add more later. And I do about a tablespoon and a half of this red wine vinegar. Then you wanna mix all that in. And like I said earlier, I end up adding like about two or three more tablespoons of olive oil. Season it with some salt. And there you have it. That's how I make the chimichurri sauce. After about 30 minutes, the steaks have come up to the right temperature. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off. I'm gonna get them ready to sear them. Now I am reverse searing these steaks. 
and I'm shooting for a medium rare doneness. So in order not to overshoot the right temperature, I want to make sure the coals are screaming hot. I'm going to use the cold grate technique, which is basically placing the steaks on the cold side of the grill and spin the grate to get the meat over to the hot coals. This allows the grate to get hot with the steaks and it creates an even crust all over the surface of the steaks. If you want grill marks, then you can just place the steaks right onto the hot side, but your crust won't be even at that point. You want to repeat this process about every minute or two and just continue spinning the grate over and over and get until you get that nice even crust. As you can see, we're starting to get that beautiful black crust onto the steaks. And because the heat coming from the coals isn't even, you do have to switch places for each of the steaks once in a while. Once each had hit an internal temperature of 130 to 135, I removed them just because when you go to rest them, the residual heat will continue to cook the steaks up to my preferred doneness of about 135 to 140 degrees. After the steaks come out, we're gonna go ahead and cover them up with some aluminum foil and we're gonna let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. We got a nice even crust on all sides of the meat. After about 10 to 15 minutes, we're ready to cut into the ribeyes. Man, just look at that steak. Perfect medium rare, nice warm pink center. You get that even pink color edge to edge. Always cut your steaks against the grain so you get a nice tender bite. If you cut it with the grain, it'll just shred apart and then it's not gonna be very tender kind of hard to tell but you could kind of see a little bit of a smoke ring on the edge of it just look at the juice coming out of that steak oh my god now i don't know about you guys but i like to eat my steaks with all the fixins so i'm gonna do a healthy dose of mashed potatoes some gravy i made earlier some sauteed onions and mushrooms just gonna layer out the slices of steaks on top of that I'm going to add that chimichurri sauce we made earlier just to garnish on top of it. And two little sprigs of thyme. And there you guys have it. Reverse seared smoked ribeye steaks. Now you can go to a steakhouse and pay up to a hundreds of dollars for a meal like this. Or you can make it at home and make it taste better for a lot cheaper. This was the best steak dinner I've ever had in my life. Better than any steakhouse I've ever been to. Well guys, cheers. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.